Hello, welcome to Gagap House. Last lesson, we've learned the comparative and superlative uh, sentence structure in both Cantonese and Mandarin. In this lesson, we'll learn the quantifiers. For humans, we will use the word go. And for the occupation of a person, we will use Meng as the quantifier. For example, Yi Meng Lao Si, Yi Meng Lao Si, it means a teacher. And teacher is a kind of occupation, so we will use the word Meng to emphasize the occupation of the of this person. Yi Meng Lao Si. And if we want to show the others how many people are there, we will use the word go to indicate it is uh, shows the person. And the word go is the quantifier to tell you how many people. For one person, we will say, Go yan. But if we want to tell the others we have ten people, we will say sub go yan. The word sub it means ten. For the animals, we will use the word ze or til to ask the quantifiers. A fish. We will say yi tiao yu, yi tiao yu, yi zhe man, yi zhe man, it means a mosquito. For plants, we will use the word po, po to describe the plants. For flowers and leaves, do or fi are used. Fa It means a flower. Yet fai yi. Yet fai yi. It means a leaf. For both, we normally use bun as the quantifier. Yet bun shu. Yet bun shu. A book. A notebook. For transportation, we usually use ga as the quantifier. It means a bike or a bicycle. 一架飛機,一架飛機, it means an aeroplane. For stationary and electronics, 機 or 寶 is used. For example, And here, for the word but, it can both represent pen or pencil. It can be a pen or 
a pencil. 一部电脑，一部电脑 ，a computer for tours. The quantifier 把 is often used. 一把刀，一把刀。一把教剪，一把教剪。If you want to know more about the quantifiers in Cantonese and Mandarin, just go to our blog gapgaphouse.com. There, we will we'll show you lots of quantifiers, and also we will tell you how to use each of the quantifiers. Don't hesitate. Just subscribe our YouTube and learn Cantonese and Mandarin with your friends together.